Here's the Subaru left hand side and right hand side transmission case. You can see the original factory case has been machine clearance to allow the differential center and ring gear to clear. If you look at the other side of the standard case, you can see that there hasn't been any machining yet here to allow the differential center to clear. If you place the differential center, it can't turn without hitting the case. So we need to make some modifications today and machine this case to clear. The first step in being able to get a guide for clearancing your transmission case is to take the differential center, remove all these bolts from the transmission center, and remove the ring gear from the center so you have just a plain center. This will give us a very good template to use to start clearancing. I've found it simple to hold the differential center in a vise because it has a flat area. This does not affect the transmission bearing which is free and not touched by the vise but allows you to clamp the transmission center very well so that you can undo these bolts. Now that we have the crown wheel separated from the differential center we have the smallest surface area to work with. The tools used for this are fairly simple a four inch grinder, a marker pen, a grinding wheel and a cutoff wheel. I don't use the very thin cutoff wheel because it's too thin I use a medium thickness cutoff wheel and quite a thick grinding wheel. The cutoff wheel is generally used to get the first initial shape and the grinding wheel is used for final finishing. Placing the differential centre into the right hand case you can clearly see the areas where the differential centre hits the casing. So we mark these areas with a highlighter pen so that we can start making the clearancing. As we gradually build parts we will clearance more and more but the concept is to clearance as minimal as possible to retain as much strength and ribbing in the you case. You can see here where I've marked the places where the differential center hits the casing and I'll now clearance these with the four inch cutting disc on the ground. You can see the first stage of clearancing here. I've tried to only clearance the ribs as much as necessary where marked. Fitting the differential center without any bolts in it. You can see that there's just enough clearance around the center to allow the differential center to spin without any clearance issues. Now we move to stage, stage two of clearancing involves making sure that bolt heads will miss all the ribbing. So we very carefully mark through the bolt holes here where the possible bolt heads might occur. To take this out you can see that there are some markings here. Now we'll uh, get them ready for clearancing. For the best way to ensure that you have clearance for your bolt heads is to actually bolt one of the crown wheel bolts into the differential center with a nut. This way once you've clearance you can check your clearance by turning the differential center with one of the nuts in place. This will ensure clearance. Stage two I've clearanced just enough to let the bolt heads clear. What we do now to check, put the center in, it has its bolt in it, and make sure that we get clearance all the way around without any interference. Very good. Now with the crown gear once again installed, you can see that although everything works, there's some clearancing to be done for the end of the crown wheel. So we'll mark those spots. The clearancing has now been done for the crown wheel. You can see the extra parts taken off. Just let it assembly in there together and ensure it spins freely.